हेलो रेस्पेक्टेड व्यूअर्स फ्रेंड्स एंड डियर स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज़ द क्वेश्चन इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस वी हैव टू चूज करेक्ट ऑप्शंस अमंग द गिवन फोर ऑप्शंस एंड हियर इज़ द डायग्राम सो व्यूअर्स दिस इज़ द डायग्राम ट्रैंगल ए बी सी इज राइट एंगल ट्रैंगल राइट एंगल डेट बी डी ई एंड एफ आर थ्री पॉइंट्स इन सच अ वे दैट ए डी डी ई एंड ई एफ एफ सी आर इक्वल and the whole length of ac is 100 cm given ad d e f f c each will be 25 cm we can solve this question by using two theorems both the theorems are very famous theorem one is stewart theorem and other is apollonius theorem before solving this question we will discuss briefly these two theorems uh, stewart theorem and apollonius theorem for this stewart theorem this is the vertex c side opposite to this vertex c is c let us suppose and this ac is b this ad is d we have taken this dc length is m and this bd segment length is n so by stewart theorem we can say that m times c square plus n times b square that is equal to this whole length the whole length is m plus n but this is bc opposite side of vertex a so we can say this length bc as a bracket this d square the length of ad plus product of these two segments mn and in this apollonius theorem this is the special case of this stewart theorem in this case ad is median it means this d is the midpoint of bc if we take this as m this as m and same c and b here this whole thing is a we can say that mc square plus mb square so m is common c square plus b square that is equal to the whole length 2m and uh, this d square plus product of these two so m square m and m will get cancelled finally this thing c square plus b square is two times d square plus m square so for this we need median this length is median but here it is not median so in this in the question which we are going to solve we will prefer this stewart's theorem so in this question we have to find the sum of bd square be square and bf square so for the sake of simplicity let us suppose this is uh, this bd length is p this length is q this length is r and this is c so this side is c and since this is a so this bc will be a let us suppose each will be 25 25 25 but take it as um n this is also n this is n and this is n so here n is 25 and a square plus c square by using pythagorean theorem 100 ac square that is 100 square so we have two results that a square plus c square is 100 square and n is 25 so if we use stewart's theorem in this triangle abc and bd taking this bd as the segment so we can say that n times this a square n c square plus this 3n times c square that is equal to this whole this whole is 100 100 times this p square plus product of these two parts this and this so n into 3n 3n square in the same way if we take this b so this part a is 2n and this part is 2n so again using stewart theorem here so we can say that 2n into a square in this here n times a square sorry 
is not c square it is a square in this here 2n into a square so 2n a square plus 2n into c square that is equal to 100 this time q square plus product of these two parts which is 2n into 2n 4n square once again using Stewart theorem here taking bf as the segment so this 3n times a square plus this n times c square once again the whole is 100 100 times this r square plus product of this part to this part which is 3n into n is 3n square so if we take add these so a n square is n a square this will be 6 n a square plus 6 n c square that is 100 times 100 common p square plus q square plus r square plus sum of these will be 10 n square taking 6 n common here and n is 25 so 6 into 25 and a square plus c square that is 100 and this we need this p square plus q square plus r square plus 10 into n n square is 625 because n is 25 and this a square plus c square is 100 square so 6 into 25 into 100 square that is equal to 100 p square plus q square plus r square plus 6250 and these 200 will get cancelled 150 and this thing so it is 15000 subtract this 6250 that is equal to p square plus q square plus r square so p is this bd square Q is B E square and plus this R is B F square that is subtracted so it is 8 7 5 0 centimeter square it should be the answer